or the children. So any questions on this subject? No? Okay. But if they want to, if you wish not to be here when they ask other questions, I appreciate that. Otherwise, any other questions? Yes, ma'am. No, I've been there many over the years. I've been there many times. I appreciate I appreciate the question, and let me just say this: I take responsibility for trusting uh, the word of a neighborhood salon that I've been to over the years many times, and that um, when they said, "Well, we're able to accommodate people one person at a time, and that we can set up that time," I trusted that. As it turns out, it was a setup. So I take responsibility for falling for a setup. And that's all I'm going to say on that. Anything else? Can you expand on the Excuse me? I just like to thank Mr. Barber, who again really supports the issue of services and policies that are being implemented in the community. Well, I don't. I think that, they owe, uh, that this salon owes me an apology for setting up. But I will say this in fairness to him and in uh, sympathetic to him. We have to get our country moving again. And I will not let this subject take away from the fact that we have 180,000 plus people who have died from this virus. Uh, since we passed the bill, more than half of those people have died since we passed uh, the legislation. 4.6 million, I know, 4.6 million have become infected since we passed the legislation. And in, in uh, there are answers. There are scientific answers for this. 96 million, excuse me, 96,000 people have died since we passed the HEROES Act. So they want to jump on this. I think it's really important for us to pass the bill so in a scientific way we can address the virus and we can bring people back to work. I have been inundated by people who are in the hair service industry saying, thank you for calling attention to this. We need to get back to work. We need to get back to work. And many of them annoyed at the uh, uh, setup that was there for a purpose that has nothing to do with uh, uh, ending the crisis. Any other questions? I said that's an answer I'm going to answer. I'm all, that's all I'm going to do. I, that's all I'm going to do. I'm, that's all I'm going to answer. Do you have any questions about the fact that people are dying, that schools need to open, and the rest? I feel that this. I feel your question and your question are an opportunity, and I thank you for them. An opportunity to say they should. It, there's more to this that I'm not going into as to the motivation of a salon to say to me, "Yes, come in," and then they go from there. It was clearly a setup. I take responsibility for falling for a setup by a neighborhood salon that I've gone to for years. And that's, that's really what it is. So again, I, I, uh, I, I think we should use it as an opportunity to say there's so many people. I don't know where you all get your hair cut or whatever it is, but we have a wealth of people who are engaged in these services. And again, the state and the city depending on the incidence of infection in those areas, decide how they will function. If the salon is saying that we're able to do this but, and they're not, then they should not have said that and they should not have been open for me to go there. But we trusted a neighborhood salon that I'd been to for years. Any other questions? Yes. Yes. 